The attribute creates op is used to initialize attributes. For the name, let's create an attribute called weight and give it an initial value of 0.1. If we middle mouse on the node, we can see that there's a new attribute called weight of type float. If we middle mouse on the input node, we see that no attribute is present. It is common to use the middle mouse on the current and the previous node to see what new attributes have been created. We open up the spreadsheet on this node to see both the attribute, the type, whether point vertex primitive or detail, name and value. And here we can scroll through all the values for all the points currently on our geometry. We can change the type of the attribute from float to integer. And here we can see that we simply do a floor on the floating point value. We can also change the type to vector. And here we can change various different values on our vector types. We can also change it to a string, in this case setting it to hello world. And the last three are float array, integer array, and string array. Note that choosing any array types on this node, you do not get any parameters or values to input those values in. So going back to float, um, there's some interesting things that we can see here. Um, as you saw, there's a type called vector, but many times we use the float input and we set the size to three. And once we do that, we can now change the type of vector that is from guess from name. And this is quite interesting. If we take this name and we set it to, for instance, n for normals, watch the values after the attribute to see how it changes. We can see that it's now uh, put an x, y, and a z on each component of the vector. That's also because n is for normals. If we type in v, which is a known velocity of vector, we can see it says it to x, y, and z. There's also an attribute called rest, which sets to 0, 1, 2, and also one for color, which is capital C, lowercase d. These are all known attributes to Houdini. And notice how the, 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 their, their, the attributes are given dot r, g, and b. Let's set it back to our weight. And now we're going to choose position, vector. Now it's important to note when we do this and we middle mouse in the node, we can see that it's a three float vector now. And that means if we append a transform node or any other transform options, it will use the signature on the attribute to determine the vector, determine how it will translate. Vectors, vectors are translated different from positions or surface normals. So it's very important that if you are defining an attribute of type normal to set it to normal or to type vector if it's just a direction vector, or if it's anything else, you have a choice between none, position, color, does not receive any transformation. So an attribute of type color, which is uh, has a dot r, dot g, and dot b, um, it will not see any transforms correctly. It should not. And quaternions, which are a four position vector that are used to describe rotates, um, are given just a simple index one, two, and three. So, and finally, as we saw before, there's a transformation, transformation matrix and a texture coordinate. Again, note how you can only set the first four values of these matrix types. So we're going to do guess from name again. And in this case, we're now going to take a look at the different cl classes of attributes we can create. Let's go back to, to a single, uh, single size. And now we can change from class point to a detail. And detail attributes are special attributes. If we middle mouse in the node, you can see here's a detail attribute of weight that rides on top of the geometry as it flows through your nodes. Um, and we can also set that to primitive. And now going to the primitive class on our spreadsheet, we can see the weight. And again, middle mouse on the node, we can see there's a primitive attribute of tight. And the other class is vertex. And vertex are the points that are used to construct the polygons on top of the points. And we can see we have a weight.